Welcome to Morning Devotions. It's always a joy to have you join us on this April 1st as we enter a new month. It's also Monday Thursday. You know, Monday Thursday is uh, part of Holy Week. When I was a little child, I I always heard it, um, didn't quite hear it correctly. I thought my parents were saying Monday, Thursday. And so I was a always asked myself, which is it, Monday or Thursday? But Monday is actually a Latin term that comes from commandment. And there's two important events in this Holy Week that happen on Monday, Thursday. The first one where it gets his name is uh, detailed in the Gospel of John, John 13, where Jesus, um, after the meal, gets up from the table, pours water in a basin, and uh, strips to servant attire, and washes the disciples' feet. And then he ends by saying, you know, if it's good enough for me to do it, it's good enough for you. And a new commandment I give you love one another. That's where the Monde comes from that commandment. It's Latin for commandment. But Monde Thursday is also important for something that is as important, or maybe even more important. And that's the institution of the Lord's Supper, Holy Communion. And um, to uh, get at that, I'm going to read, uh, we've been reading from the Gospel of Mark, but I'm not going to read there. The Lord's Supper, the institution of Holy Communion, uh, the institution of the Supper is in four places, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And you would expect me to say John, but John uh, does not write about it. He rather writes about the washing of the disciples' feet. It's the Apostle Paul in one of the very early books of the New Testament. Uh, Paul's letters were written, most of them at least, before the Gospels. And 1 Corinthians is one of the first letters. Let me read it to you. It's 1 Corinthians eleven, twenty-three. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. There's a lot in that. I think I want to start by talking about the fact that this is the Passover meal that Jesus takes the bread and the cup. The Passover meal that celebrated God rescuing Israel from Egypt. And the very term Passover means that uh, Israel was instructed to take the blood of a lamb and to put it on its lentils and doorposts. And then the angel of death would pass over the children of Israel, and passed through the house and the people of Egypt, those who were enslaving and um, uh, unjustly imprisoning the children of Israel. And so, when Christ says, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, he's talking about the same thing. He's saying, just as the Lamb saved, the blood of the Lamb saved the children of Israel from the angel of death, I, your Lord and Savior Jesus, will save you from the angel of death. You know, the uh, in the Gospel of John, John the Baptist says it this way, Behold the Lamb of God, or look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. And a little later, Jesus, in talking to Nicodemus, says that verse that has probably become one of the most famous. For God so loved the world, he gave his only Son, that whoever should believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world 
to condemn the world, but in order that the world might have life through him. The Lord's Supper is that symbol, that sacrament, that reminds us and makes a present reality to us that Jesus has saved us, that the blood of Jesus covers us, and that ultimately the angel of death will pass over us. The meal is also a remembrance of who Jesus was, of Jesus' salvation, certainly, but as of Jesus' example. And finally, the supper is a hope. You know, Paul ends by saying, Whoever, whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. That's hope. It's the hope that death, that the things that are broken in this creation, the things that are wrong in this world, do not have the last word. Rather, our Passover lamb, our sacrificial lamb of the world, the one who loves us, has the last word. It's Jesus Christ. So this evening I encourage you to take the cup or take the bread and hear the words, this is my body given for you. And to take the cup and hear the words, this cup is a new covenant in my blood given and shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. To take the bread, to drink the cup, and have hope. Let's pray. Lord God, we give you praise and thanks that you have died on the cross for our sins. That in that death, you defeated death. That it's a victory. And that as we drink the cup and eat the bread, we proclaim your death, not as a defeat for you, but as a victory over death. And we hope in the time when you come back and gather each one of us to yourself. In your name we pray, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, I certainly hope you will be hope-filled today. And stay strong, and God bless.